Hi children, welcome back to our class, grade 9 mathematics. Today we are in the topic of coordinate geometry. See, when it comes to the coordinate geometry, people immediately they think of that, uh, what is the coordinate geometry? Geometry, they might have an idea. But what do you mean by coordinate? See, children, before going to the topic, first of all, we need to know some basics about the coordinate geometry. Why it has come? First of all, we need to know. We need to know. See, there are the certain beautiful examples I have given in your textbook. What is that you know? See, here yeah, this is a street plan. This is, this is a street plan. Suppose a friend or you want to give certain idea about your house, where it is. Let us assume that it is a main road, EW, it is a main road, and these are all the like, you know, side roads, and these are all parallel roads. Now you are telling your friend, my house is located in the street number three and house number five. Street number three, house number five. Well, see street number three, then you have to see that where is the street number three, right? Street number three and house number five. This is your house. See, nowadays, this, if you see your house, house number something, one bar, 1 dash 236 double 11, like this will be there. So it is giving certain kind of information where is a house, which street, and what is, what is the position of the house, or which colony, what is the position of the house, in that, what is a block. It might be given like that. So if this kind of information is given clearly, then we can find the house easily, and any courier surveys, anything, if it is given, easily can be deliverable. Otherwise, it is quite confusious. Then maybe happen something else wrong. See, this system and all, it is really helpful. I can tell you, once if you see in Google map or Google, you see that where's the house located. You see some longitude, latitude, some 85 degrees north side and 35 degrees some east side, northeast side, something it will be there. So based on the locations, then we can tell where is a house, where is that from north side to south side to east side, west side, like where it is located. Right? So based on this one, we can locate exactly where you are now. We can find it. Fine. Next. One more thing. There is a beautiful one more example. Suppose there is a dot is placed here. Now you are guiding your friend. Find out the dot where it is. Find out the dot where it is. You are guiding. Suppose you are starting from this point. Starting point you are guiding. From the starting point, go away. 10 centimeter. 10 centimeter. Or from the edge of this one, it is some 5 centimeters difference or nine centimeter difference, something else. And from your left side, there's five centimeters difference. Then if you tell most probably, that might will be identified easily. So what I'm trying to say, if you give the correct guidance from the edges, from the edges, see, there we needed one basic point. One fixed position, fixed point, or fixed positions. Based on that, we can describe or we can note the point location. So these lines are called reference lines. These are called reference lines. With respect to these reference lines, we can identify where it is located exactly. Not only this one. There is an activity in your textbook, it is given that what? See, suppose this is your classroom, all your desk, all your desk, everything kept very close to each other at the edge, very close to each other at the edge. Suppose everywhere, everyone you have written the names. Suppose this is your desk, you want to locate this, your desk. Okay, this is a corner of the room. Then you have to tell from this, row after fifth bench and from here third bench 
or from a fifth position, from a third position, both way they are coinciding. That is your page. So from a fifth position, from a third position. So that put together, what you can say, five comma three. It means you are writing as combination, coordination, combinations. Right. Well, so based on this one, this total geometric part, which is called a geometric part, which is design, which is design. Now, actually, this coordinate geometry was developed by, you know, Renatus Carters. On behalf of his Carters name, this is called again Cartesian system. Or coordinate geometry, Cartesian system. Then when we are going to learn higher sections, we are going to solve the problems related to that one. Then we are going to call it as analytical geometry. Analytical geometry. See how this mathematician, mathematician, how it's solved. For example, while lying down, you just look at your fan. You may think in your mind, where is the fan located? Then based on the position of the fan and based on the edges of the walls, then you can tell, yes, the fan is not located exactly middle. Or the fan is located exactly middle. Near to the fan, there is a light. Near to the fan, there is a decoration, then you can find it. So the points what you are taking, the lines what you are taking, the edges what you are taking, these are all reference lines. These are all pixel lines. Same way, this man also have done it. What he done it, you know? He developed this program using that old idea, latitude, longitude, what is there? You learned already in chemistry, uh, sorry, social. What is latitude, longitude? In that, Latitude language will help us where is the country located, where is the location, or where is, suppose if you say any monuments, Taj Mahal is located in India. Okay, like that, and we can identify. Same thing, this man also have done some theory on this one. Then he developed this Cartesian system. This is very simple, children. If you are sitting at the home, you see. You stand aside of the wall, near to the wall, then you look at, you keep a book or something else you know, on the floor. Then you try to find out with the reference of the edges of the walls, edges of the floor. Then you can identify where is the book is located. Book is located. Same thing, this one also have done it. Say so there's an activity have done it. How will you describe the position of the table lamp? On your study table. Yes, on your study table, when you see, you maybe this table, imagine this is a table. You have kept the table lamp here. Then immediately something will be flashed in your mind. What? The table lamp is very close to the edge, it may fall down. So, what it is, what is the meaning of that? It is very close to the edge. Then you are finding the location of the that table lamp. Location of the Table lamp, we are finding out. So this is only corner geometry. Street plan. A city has two main roads, which cross each other at the center of the city. These two roads are all along the north, south direction, east, west direction. Okay. Then all the other streets of the city can parallel roads. There are 200 meters apart. There are five streets in each direction using one centimeter, 200 meters, dry model of the city. This, you can do that activity. See, all like parallel lines, you try to draw it. Then you find out cross the lines where is your look, house is located like. This is just I'm giving an example. You have to do the activity actually. Now, how this system actually developed by this Renatus Carters, I'll tell you. See, when I was teaching you, when I'm teaching you, I said some reference lines. He took the same reference lines. The reference lines, one is horizontal line. One is vertical line. See, this reference lines based on this reference lines, he described the plane into quadrants. So, what are the reference lines? One is horizontal line, that is x axis, that is called as x, x dash. Vertical line, y, y dash. Horizontal, it is parallel to the earth. 
vertical line. It is perpendicular to the X line or your floor. Where this X, OX or OX dash, OY, OY dash. These both are perpendicular. These both are perpendicular. Then after that, using that scale, he calibrated values. This is line. We know there are so many points we can mark on the line because a line has infinite set of points. Now please mark it. One, two, three, four, five. This said positive. Then minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. This is negative. This is plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, positive. Then minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. These are negative. So OX dash is negative. OX is positive. OY is positive. OY dash is negative. And the two lines where they are emitting, that point is 0, 0, which is called origin. Origin. And this man, he divided with this x1 axis the total plane into quadrants. Why he called as quadrant? Because it is one fourth of the part. So quadrant one in anticlockwise direction. Quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four, anticlockwise direction. See, anticlockwise direction is called this is. Clockwise direction is this one. Okay, quadrant one, this part. See, plus comma plus. See, this part is, see, OX. OX is positive. OY also positive. So always, we are going to write the coordinates as in the form of X comma Y form. X should be first, Y follow next. X is called first coordinate. Y is called second coordinate. And another name of X is called as abscissa. Another name of this one is called ordinate. Abscissa ordinate. So Q1, first quadrant, Q2, second quadrant, Q3, third quadrant, Q4, fourth quadrant. See, when you see this one, this plus plus, X will be X value plus, Y value also positive, then plus plus. And here, minus plus. And here, X only for first minus minus. And Q4, this is plus minus. Once again, he divided the total plane into four parts. Each four part is called as a quadrant. There are four quadrants are there in a plane in anticlockwise direction. Anticlockwise direction, these quadrants are named as quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four, and quadrant one. In the quadrant one, see based on the position like X comma Y, X is called as first quadrant, Y is called second quadrant. This abscissa and ordinates. Okay, these are plus plus, minus plus, plus minus minus, plus minus. Got it? Now. Right. Now, based on this system, rectangles, sorry, right, a right angle core system or Cartesian system, using this one, we can identify the point location. We can identify the point location. Okay, I'll tell you how. Let us take one second. We can look at them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. That's up to our wish. How many want we can take it? Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. 
minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. See, this system will help us to locate a point easily. Now, what I'm going to do, I want, I'm moving in the right side. I'm moving in the right side. And how many units I'm moving on? Two units I'm moving. From here, again, I'm taking two more units. Now my position is here. It means from y-axis, you are taking two units and x-axis, you are taking two units. Now your position will be plus two comma plus two. See, similarly, from this position O, this is called O, I'm moving, moving on the left side. So I'm taking three units and I'm moving on four units on the top. So, and now my position is minus three comma four. Minus three comma four. Okay, now two comma two or minus three comma four. Say minus three comma four, what do you say? From the X axis, how much distance? From the Y axis, how much distance? From the X axis, if you see, it is parallel to the Y. So we have taken four units. From here, if you see, this is three units. This is four units. This is three units. So the location of particle, what you could say? Minus three comma four. Now, let us take some more. Now, if you see the same thing, P position. If you see a P position, if you take it one, two, three, four, so four. So X value first four. And similarly, on Y axis, one, two, three. Then your P position is four comma three. Similarly, Q, people will have a tendency, they will take X and Y, they will not uh, consider X and Y values, how to take it. So remember, always X come first, Y follows. Okay, now X, this is X axis, then you have to take six units. So your position is minus six, comma, because you are coming on the left side and you are going down. You are going down, how many units? Two units, then you, this is your position, this is Q. So this is minus six, comma, minus two. Okay, similarly, R. R, where are you now? R, if you see, on the x-axis you are moving, but you're from the point you are not moving anywhere. So, then R point on x-axis minus six, and then from there you are not moving anywhere, so zero. Then here, yes. Now, on x-axis you are not moving, but on y-axis you are moving. So, on x-axis you are not moving, zero comma minus two. And when you are talking n, see, an x axis is not changing, only perpendicular distance is changing. So, 0, comma, y value is changing, 0, comma, 3. And m point, we are moving on x axis, which is 4, and y axis, no change, 4, comma, 0. See, what from here we can understand? A point lies on x axis. A point lies on x axis. This is the form of x, comma, 0. Or it may be plus or minus x comma zero. So x value can be anything. So x belongs to z I'm taking. And on y axis, on y axis, I write it as zero comma y. So y belongs to z. z, z in the sense, integers. So x value can take it as positive or negative. Y value can take it as a positive or negative. So you can do anything. Okay, next. Next, coming to this one. See the figure 3.1 and complete the following. Already we have done it there. No issues here. Now, one more thing. B, B point, M point, and L, yes. Now see B point. See on X axis 4 units and Y axis 3 units. So the position of B is 4 comma 3 plus 4 comma 3 because you are moving on the right side and moving on the up. And from zero, this is reference point. From reference point, you are moving on your left side. So X value will be minus three, left side X. Up and down, you have to take Y value. And four units up your way. So then your location will be minus three comma four. And here also, from here, if you see, you are moving on left side. So X value will be minus five. And you are moving down. You are moving down, how many units? Four units, so minus four. And here also, you are moving on the positive side. So three, but you are moving down. 3 comma minus 4. So that's what I, I have taught you. 
if you see the symbols here plus plus yeah minus plus and this one minus minus this one plus minus so quadrant one quadrant two quadrant three and quadrant four four quadrants left. okay next Write the coordinates of the points marked on the axis figure 3.12. The point E, A, say where is A? A is, if you see here, there is from here to here, A, four unit system. So the location of A will be four and it lies on X axis, so four comma zero, it is not moving anywhere. And here it lies on Y axis, so X value zero, Y value will be three. And see, you are moving on the left side of X axis, sorry, left side of origin, then it lies on X axis, minus four, minus five, minus five. And from that point, you are not moving. So minus five comma zero. Similarly, D also will be zero comma minus four. Fine, now E, e if you see here, zero to one, it occupies a distance of two by three comma zero. Why it is zero? Because it lies on X axis. So remember where, whichever the point lies on X axis, then you have to take in the form of X comma zero or put Y value zero. Whenever you are taking y, it lies on y axis, then take x value 0 or 0, comma y form. Okay, careful. Okay, what is the name of horizontal and vertical line drawn to determine the position of any body, any point in the Cartesian? See, horizontal line is called x axis and vertical line is called y axis. What is the name of the each part of the plane formed by these two lines? These two lines are called quadrants. There are four parts will be forms. They're called as quadrants. Write the name of the point where these two lines meet. See, these two lines intersect at one point that is called origin, zero comma zero. Because at that point, X value, Y value, both will be zero, origin. Okay, now from the figure 3.14, write the following, the coordinates B, coordinates of C. Say where is B? Here is B. It lies in the second quadrant. From the origin, you are moving on the left side of yours. So minus five and moving up. So minus five comma. And similarly, D. D, if you take it, you are moving on your right side. Or you are moving on the uh, like uh, right side of the origin. So X value will be positive and moving up. So Y also positive. So six comma two D value will be. Then when you are talking M, M, it lies on X axis, but you are moving from the origin on the left side, so that point is minus three comma zero. And when you are talking about hatch, you are moving on your left side, how many units? Minus, like uh, minus five units and uh, coming down three units. So minus five comma minus three. Minus five comma minus three. And here, E, when you are talking about E, from the origin you are moving on your left side, how many units minus three? Signally you are coming down, minus three comma minus five. And coming to G, so coming to G, you are moving on your right side. So right side, it means positive two and moving down, so negative two comma minus four. So X value is positive, Y value will be negative because you are moving down from the origin. Next, one more, one more thing, C, C point, when you are moving on your right side is five minutes and moving down minus five. So five comma minus five. Yes, sir. Minus five. Okay. So you have seen the location of the points. Now plotting a point in the plane if its coordinates are given. How to plot? Okay. Now let us take a few things on this. Now. Again. Let us mark all this point two, three, four, and five. Like okay. Now, if I gave the point three comma five, if I gave the point 
3 comma 5 now i want to locate this please mark whenever you are going to do please identify it. this is x and this is y from the origin from the origin it is 3 3 in the sense plus 3 so you have to move on your right side right side 3 units 3 units and 3 comma 5 say i have marked only up to 4 so let me mark up to 5 the three units we have to go we have to take and next one y value is 5 so plus 5 so we have to move up because it's a plus 5 if it is a minus 5 then you have to move down so now 5 units you have to move up right this is 5 units distance now this is the required point 3 comma 5 suppose they have asked you 2 comma minus 2 2 comma minus 2. Now, 2 is positive. 2 is positive. Then from the origin, you have to take 2 units plus 2, right? So plus means you have to move on your right side. X axis. So 2 units and minus 2. So now you are here. Now from here, based on this only, you are supposed to move up or move down. So here minus 2. Minus says that you have to change the direction. So change in the direction that we have to come down. So coming down. This is 2 comma minus 2. 2 comma minus 2. Next one, 8 comma, sorry, minus 3 comma 4. See, minus 3 comma 4, it is x and y. Say so x value is negative. So from the origin, you have to move on your left side. 3 units. Right? Minus 3. And 4. Positive 4 or negative 4. So it is positive 4, then you have to move off. This is called minus 3 comma 4. Then this is your point. Now 0 comma minus 3. See x value is 0. So you have to start anyhow this point. 0 comma 0. So you are not moving anywhere. 0 and minus 3. So you have to change the direction. You have to come down. When you are coming down, you have to come down. This is your location. 0 comma minus 3. So I hope so you understood. This is plotting the points. Next. Yes, sir. Next. Okay. Now, which quadrant or on which axis do the points lies? Minus 2, comma 4. See, x is negative. So, it is x is negative. What is it? x dash. y is positive. x dash y. So, minus and plus. Which quadrant? Minus on the left side. Minus on the left side of origin. 4, positive. So, you are in the second quadrant. 3 comma minus 1. 3 comma minus 1. 3, x value is positive. See, when you are taking, x value is positive. This x value is positive. Then minus 1, you are coming down. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. Then you are coming down. Coming down, then you are uh, located in fourth quadrant. And minus 1 comma 0. Say, y value is 0. So, then you are lying on x-axis. Which x x axis on the left side? Then you can write it o x dash also. And one comma two. So both are positive. Both are positive. It is the first quadrant. Minus three comma minus five. So minus three comma minus five. Both are negative. Both are negative. You are in the third quadrant. Okay. Now plot the points given following table on the plane choosing suitable units of distance on the axis. Okay. Let us do this question once again.
these all points please mark you can maintain one dist one unit distance uniformly please maintain it use your scale perfectly will become okay now coming to this one the first what do you write it minus 2 comma 8 please write it and this one minus 1 comma 7 and this one is 0 comma minus 1.25 and this is 1 comma 3 and this is 3 comma minus 1 say so minus 2 comma 8 minus 2 comma 8 see up to 8 we have right let us mark up to 8 now minus 2 comma 8 it means x is negative y is positive so then you are you have to move on your left side of two units and from there a y value positive then you have to go up so this is the position of this one minus 2 comma 8 if you draw the perpendicular lines until you are okay come friend then that will be better if if you are comfortable no need of to draw these dotted lines at all then minus one comma seven minus one comma seven say minus one and seven minus one to seven then zero to minus one point two five zero two you have to suppose to go down this is zero zero to minus one point two five it is minus one point two five says that more than minus one less than minus two so it is maybe very close to minus 1.5. This is a point of that one. So let us see D, E, A, B. This, one. this is a point C. Now D. So 1, comma 3. So you have to take 1 unit and 3 units up. This is the D location. Then 3, comma minus 1. 3, you are supposed to take on the positive direction and minus 1 come down. So this is, so this is your location. So like this, you are supposed to mark, then you can tell where is that point is located. Okay, now we'll go for some additional questions now. Okay, now coming to this one, minus three comma minus two, both are negative. So please take X, Y axis. First, second, third, Fourth. Both are negative. It lies in the third column. <coughs> third column, sir. Y comma minus four. X value positive. Y value negative. The fourth X value. column. See, five comma X value positive. Y value negative. So X value positive. This side X. This side X dash. Y Y dash. Say x is positive, y is negative, it lies in the fourth quadrant. So plus comma minus. It lies in the fourth quadrant. Then one comma seven. Both are positive. Both are positive. Starting point is here. So first quadrant. First quadrant. Then minus six comma four. Minus six comma four. X value negative, y value positive. So x value negative. It means on your left side and moving up. So second, second quadrant. Sir. Second quadrant. Second quadrant. Then the point minus four comma minus three. What is the meaning? Meaning of this? It means x value minus four, y value. Third minus quadrant. Four. Yes, thank you. Sir. This lies in the third. And next one, zero comma four. Zero comma four lies. See here, x value is zero. X value zero, and y value will be there. So it lies on axis, the y axis. Then five comma zero. Here y value is zero, so it lies on x axis. Okay, now on joining of these all, what structure you'll get it? Okay, now let us mark all this. Now Zero come this one. Let us mark zero, one, two, and three, like so and so. And all are positive, you know? Okay, I'm making only positive values. One, two. 
first one 0 comma 0 here then 0 comma 2 from 0 to 2 units up ah. then next one 2 comma 2 2 units positive side and 2 units upward one 2 comma 2 and 2 comma 0 2 comma 0 it lies on x axis now mark all this all join when you join if you see here the distance here 2 units and here also 2 units and if you see this also two units and this also two units. It means all the sides are equal. All the sides are equal. And here each angle is maintaining 90 degrees because we know that x y axis makes 90 degrees. So it is a square. Then the point minus two comma three lies. Say x is x dash y. It means you are moving on left side and moving up, moving up second quadrant. And 0, comma minus 2, x value 0, but y value negative. So, y value negative, it lies on one axis. In case if they do mention O by dash, please mark O by dash. Okay. Now, signs of abscissa and ordinate. What is abscissa and ordinate? I told you already. X is called abscissa, y is called ordinate. And it's telling that first quadrant. First quadrant, both are positive. Signs of abscissa and ordinate are the second quadrant. Second quadrant. So when you are talking second quadrant, x is negative, y is positive. X is negative, y is positive. And signs are abscissa and alternate of a point in the third quadrant. When it comes to a third quadrant, both are negative. Signs of abscissa and alternate of a point in the fourth quadrant. Fourth quadrant, x will be positive, y will be negative. Next point, minus one comma zero, y sum. See, y value zero. But x value, it lies on x axis, but which side? Negative direction of x axis. Okay, next. See, this one we have done it. Next. Abscissa of all points on x axis. On x axis, we said the point will be x comma zero. It is what is x? X can be anything. Ordinate of all the points on x axis. Ordinate of all the x axis. See, this is called abscissa and this is called ordinate. Ordinate on x axis always zero. Abscissa of all the points on y axis. See, it will be zero comma y structure. Then abscissa here zero. Ordinate can be anything. Next, a point both whose coordinates, both are negative, both are negative, which quadrant? Both are negative will be lies. A point both of whose coordinates are negative. Both are negative, it lies in third quadrant, but here no option. Okay. See, this one we have done it. Next one. One comma minus one. Plus minus, plus minus, plus minus, minus minus. So which quadrant? Do not lie in the same quadrant because these all these three are equal, but this is different. Now this one plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus all are same. So all are lying in the third quadrant. Sorry, fourth quadrant because third quadrant both are negative. Now minus five comma two, two comma minus five, minus five comma two minus five negative and plus. So it lies in the second quadrant. 2 comma minus 5, it lies in the fourth column because it is positive and negative. Second and fourth. You don't choose this option. It is wrong. Because if you say that so second and fourth, fourth and second, what is the same? But you have respected the word is not there, then you may choose. But that is also wrong. You cannot take. You have to take based on the position of that. Next. The point whose ordinate is 4 and which lies on y axis. Whose ordinate is 4, which lies on y axis. It means when it is lies on y axis, x value will be taken at zero and it is zero comma four. Abscissa, which quadrants will be positive? It means x is positive. X is positive. When you see on your right side, x will be positive. So it means it will be first quadrant and fourth quadrant only. It will be positive. So first and fourth quadrant. The perpendicular distance of the point three comma four. Suppose three comma four, it lies here. Three comma four from y axis. From y axis. When they say perpendicular distance from the y axis, then you take what do you have to take? X value. 
If they say x axis, then you take y value. So it is three units. Right. Now, the uh, the point where the two axes meet is called origin. This is fine. Now, what is P? P here, it is on the negative side. So P is minus two comma three. And here Q is one comma minus three. Next, the x coordinate is of a point is negative. It can lie in which coordinate? It will lie in which coordinate? It lies in the, see, x will be negative. It lies in the second and third coordinates. Okay, next. From the figure, write the coordinates of the point P, Q, R. P, P is one comma four. How? Here, x axis one and y value is four, one comma four. Q, Q if you take it three units and two, three comma two. Okay, next, R, R will be, so minus four, comma, minus two. And S will be minus two, comma, minus four. Now, what is the question now? Sorry. From the figure, write the corners of PQRS. Does the line joining P and Q, so joining P and Q, and R in this, R and S. See, he said, from the figure, where the corners of the point, PQRS, does the line joining P and Q pass through the origin? No. In case if they say PR or QR, maybe pass. Maybe pass. Okay. So maybe pass, but P and Q does not pass. Clear? Next. ABC is an equilateral triangle as shown in the figure. Find the coordinates of its vertices. Now see here, we know in an equilateral triangle, all the sides are equal. If you take zero comma zero is position of this one, total length is six units. Exactly it is middle point, definitely three units here and three units here. And C point lies on X axis, it will be three comma zero. And here lies on negative X axis, so minus three comma zero. And I want to know, find out this point. Okay, this point, if I want to find it, it is very simple one, see, OA, here OA becomes, becomes altitude, altitude, altitude of right equilateral angle. What do you mean by altitude? Altitude, if you draw a line which makes 90 degrees with the base, that is called altitude. Or from the one vertex to opposite sides, if you draw one perpendicular line, that is called altitude. Okay, now if you see here, this is an altitude, Altitude always root three by two times in it. I'm talking in any equilateral triangle. Root three by two times to its side. So altitude will be OA. So root three by two and side is given six units. He said clearly six units into six. Two ones are two threes are. So the point is three root three. So it lies on y axis zero comma three root three like this. Otherwise, you can do there are methods using the Pythagoras theorem. We can do or like calculation, like uh, this distance are equal. We can take it. So, any method you can follow based on that, any method you can find these answers. Next. Next. What is the name of horizontal and vertical lines drawn to determine the position of this one? Horizontal line is called x axis, vertical line is called y axis. 
this we have learned already now locate the coordinates of labeled points see labeled points now is talking on a a is on y axis so x value 0 0 comma 2 and b lies in the first quadrant both are positive so this point is 3 comma 3 right and c c will be 3 comma 0 because on x axis it lies and h h it lies in the second quadrant minus 4 comma from here 3 units minus 4 comma 3 and g point it lies on x axis minus 3 comma 0 then this one f point it lies on the this one so minus 4 comma minus 2 and e point it lies on the y axis so 0 comma minus 3 and d point it lies on for fourth quadrant so x will be positive so 4 comma minus 3 so these are the location of the points Now, let us fill this one. What is said now? Read the given graph and answer the following questions. Now, point A, where it lies. See, where it lies, here, location, where it lies. Location, in the sense, we can go for quadrants or axis. It lies on x-axis. Which axis? Negative x-axis. So. I'm going to write it as OX dash. And coordinates, it lies on x-axis, so I'm writing minus three comma zero. And abscissa will be minus three, ordinate will be zero. And point B, B point, here yeah, it lies on this one. It lies on OX dash, on negative x-axis. So here, this one also minus one comma zero, and abscissa minus one, and ordinate will be zero. Point C, so C also, it lies on positive x-axis, so OX, and the location will be 3 comma 0. And abscissa will be 3, ordinate will be 0. Then D point, D point lies on y, like a positive x-axis, so I can write OX, and the look, a point will be 6 comma 0. And abscissa will be 6, ordinate will be 0. Next, E point. E point, this also OX. It is 9 comma 0. Abscissa will be 9. Ordinate will be 0. And F point. F point. It is 11 comma 3. It is given 11 comma 3. It is not here 11 comma 3. 11 comma 3 should be here. 11 comma 3 should be here. It's given like that. So 11 comma 3, it lies in the first quadrant. And the points are 11 comma and ordinate will, abscissa will be 11 units, ordinate will be three units, like this. See, these are marking everything, we know how to do it, okay? We'll do a problem, no issue. Next. Same way, same model, location and ordinates. Now. Look at the position of market points. Position of the market points. Now, now see, 0, 0. It lies in first quadrant? No. It lies in second quadrant? No. It lies in x-axis and y-axis, both. It belongs to both the properties. And 1, 2. I'm sorry. This is the end question. OK, no issues. 1, 2. Both are positive. Both are positive. It lies in first quadrant. 1, minus 2. X will be positive, Y value will be negative. It lies in the fourth quadrant. Minus 2, 1. See, two units on your left side, one unit on the top side, so it is second quadrant. Minus 1, minus 2. Both are negative, so third quadrant. 0, minus 2. 0, minus 2. X value negative, so X value 0, so it lies on Y axis. Minus 2, 0. Minus 2, 0. See, Y value 0, so it lies on X axis. 7, 9, both are positive, so it lies in first quadrant. Next. See, in the given figure, what are the coordinates of P, R, Q? See, P lies on the line L, this line. See, P, from, the, from this R, 
So this distance is three units. So fixed three, three comma two. P value is three comma two. Then R R lies on x-axis. It will be three comma zero, and L will be three comma from here distance three comma four, and Q will be three comma. We are moving down. So minus one. M point will be three comma. We are moving down minus three. See everywhere the abscissa is same, three 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 like this. So it lies on same line. These all the points. Which line? X equal to three line. They all lies on X equal to three line. Right. Next. Okay. This one all we can do it. No issue. Then I'm going for next some other questions. Okay, now one more question. The distance of the point zero comma eight from the origin. From the origin, see zero comma eight from the origin. See from the origin eight units. Which of the following points lies on x-axis? Lies on x-axis. Y value will be zero. Y value is zero. This is only one point. Okay, this we have done it. These points. Okay, in the figure, a line L is parallel to x-axis. Yeah. The line L is parallel to x-axis. Now, and it is four units away from x-axis. It's up the corners of the A. So now we have to see it is up or down. So it is up. So the location of A it is zero comma four. Next, the center of O of circle lies on the origin. If the radius of the circle is three units, the corners of the point A. This is the point A. From here to here three units. So it lies. On x-axis, y value will be zero. The point is three comma zero. Next, same thing here. The radius of the circle O is five minutes, and uh, O lies on the origin. The coordinates are the B. So coordinates are B. When you take it, it from here five minutes distance. So then what you get is zero comma positive five. It's moving up. Okay. Now a point lies in the third corner. Both are negative, so it means a less than zero, b less than zero. Clear? Yeah. Next, a point, a line L is parallel to the y-axis and is three units away from y-axis. The corners of A here. So in the, it is in the positive direction. So then what you can write three comma zero. Then x comma y is equal to y comma x. It means x equal to y, y is equal to x. X equal to y, y is equal to x. So why you carry this? Here? So x minus y is equal to zero. This is one. The point five comma zero lies on positive x-axis. Okay. The point zero comma ten lies on say zero x value zero y value positive. So positive y-axis. Which of the following points lies on the y-axis? Lies on the y-axis. X value of zero, zero comma minus four. This all we have learned, children. Next, this also we have learned it. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine dollar. Next one. Here, if you see, here you have to compare the both. See, x plus one is equal to Five and x is equal to four, and uh, y minus one is equal to five. Sorry, y minus one is equal to four, then y is equal to five. So it will be x value four, y value five. This is answer. Okay, next. The point two comma seven. Like you take it, mark two comma seven. Two comma seven will might be here. See, is it a distance from the y-axis? You said y-axis from the y-axis. You said from the y-axis, then you take x value, x value two units. Then x square comma y plus one. See, compare x square is equal to pi. Then x equal to plus or minus root pi, and y is equal to root five minus one. In the given figure, what is the area of the triangle OAB? 
See, you take this distance, two units, you take this distance, two units. So the formula half into base into height, half into two into two. See, two, two gets cancelled, so two square units. Okay, in the given figure, O is the origin, O, A, B, C square, side two units, the coordinates of the points A, B, C. Now, A, A, from here to two units, so two comma zero. Then from here to here, two units, so it lies on Y axis, zero comma two. And B, from here two units, and from here two units, then it will be totally two comma two. So then two comma zero, two comma two, zero comma two. Order is very, very important, ma. If the perpendicular distance of a point P from the X axis, from the X axis is five minutes. From the X axis like this, from the X axis is five minutes. And the foot of the perpendicular lies on a negative direction of Y X axis. So then we have to, instead of taking here, we have to take here. I'm sorry, here we have to take negative. Then the point P has, Point P has X coordinate minus five. Y coordinate can be anything. Next. If the coordinates of the points P minus two comma three, Q minus three comma five. Apsis of P, apsis of P is minus two. So minus two. Apsis of Q, minus of minus three. See what do you say? Minus two plus three, which is one. The points apsis and ordinate have different signs. Different signs. Plus minus minus plus. Plus minus minus plus. Where it will be? It lies in the second and fourth. In the given figure, what is the p value? See p value on the negative direction, two units, positive direction. So minus two comma four. Then. Next one. In the given figure, the point they identify the coordinates of minus five comma three, which is minus five comma three. It means five units this side on the left side and three units on the top. So it is L point. The point whose ordinate is four and which lies on y-axis. Whose ordinate is four. So when you are taking this value is four and it lies on x y-axis, it lies on y-axis, then x value will be zero. So zero comma four. The perpendicular distance of the point three comma four from y axis. See, mark plus three comma four. Yeah. So from the y axis, so then take x value. So three units like this. Okay. So I hope so you understood these problems. These questions we will do later next class, and also we will learn image concepts. So those image concepts somewhat little different one. So once, if you learn that image concept, then we can construct so many problems on this one, okay? So today we have learned uh, what is quotation system, how it is marked, and what are the quadrants, x-axis, y-axis, x-dash, y-dash, and the behavior of ordinate, uh, the behavior of the points, which, which quadrants, and uh, some application questions, especially equilator triangle questions, and uh, we have seen on the top, abscess of P and abscess of Q. So, these are all the topics we have learned in, and we have learned how to mark on the graph. Okay. Thank you. With this problem, I'm going to close this session. Thank you.